Yeah. Good morning, everybody. Here we have designed one 5G base station where we have catered for four services integrated in the 5G spectrum. So these are the four services which we have integrated in the 5G base stations. So one is for smart lamp control, narrowband IoT service. Another service is smart vehicle control, which is popularly known as Internet of Vehicle Service. And the third service is 5G enhanced mobile broadband service for getting lightning speed internet sitting at your home. And the fourth one is satellite signal DTH digital video broadcasting version 2. This is for entertainment multimedia communication. So here we have integrated these three services, 5G EMBB, narrowband IoT smart lamp control, as well the narrowband control internet of vehicle over the satellite backhaul. So here I am demonstrating this as to be the smart control of the smart lamp. So this is my base stations. I am switching the narrowband IoT control. The lamp is getting off. Now, again I am switching my base stations, the lamp is getting on. Again I am switching off the base stations, lamp is getting off. So from base stations, I am, control, I am controlling the remote lamp, which lamp has been tailored as a smart lamp and can be installed onto the lamp post wherever it is applicable within our SMIT campus. We have started these initiatives to mount this small receiver, this smart IoT receiver. This is the smart IoT receiver to be mounted on the lamp. So this receiver is our homegrown technology in our electronics and communication engineering department in our 5G IoT lab. We have developed this receiver for the smart lamp control. And here you see, this is another receiver which we have designed. This is for the smart vehicle control, the internet of vehicle. If you see from the base stations, the remote base stations, I am controlling this vehicle over 106 megahertz carrier frequency. If I switch on the base stations, you can listen one tone, which tone is demodulated through this, base, this receiver circuit and it is stopping its engine. So this vehicle can be comfortably controlled. Its start and stop of the engine can be controlled from my 5G base station. So this is called 5G Internet of Vehicle Service, which we can control from the 5G base stations itself. Now coming on to the third service, which you can see the 5G on TV. Now see, when the 5G spectrum, I am sending it through 55 megahertz, you see the Television service can also be catered over 5G band and sitting in your home, the screen is full of noise when my 5G base station is off. So station off means you will not get any signal and your television screen will be full of noise. Now switch on the station, you see the screen is black. So no program content. Now I am switching on the program content over 5G. Now you see there is a data lines which is visible in your television screen which are 5G enabled data transmitted from my 5G base stations over 55 megahertz. So this is how we have catered for the 5G on TV service from my 5G base stations. And the fourth service is, this one is the fourth service which you can see. This is the satellite backhaul. So 5G over satellite, this spectrum we have generated for 5G backhaul over satellite spectrum. So if this backhaul is present, then only all other services will be present into your home. So our objective is to send, to cater these services from SMIT campus to other part of the world Service through of satellite. 5G over satellite. So this spectrum, this uh, narrow, this two megahertz bandwidth we have catered for satellite backhaul. So if I switch off my base stations, which is tuned at 10 megahertz, this is mean for satellite signal. Now if I withdraw my satellite backhaul, you see the all other services will be remaining off. So I am switching off the base stations where the satellite backhaul is disconnected. All other services are 
not available now again i am switching on the satellite backhaul just observe all other services will be immediately growing up on so satellite backhaul is on all other services are also getting on so in this way we have catered our 5g base station services over the satellite backhaul so 5g base station one way is to serve the services through terrestrial link through horizontal communications and other way is the vertical path which is known as 5g over backhaul keeping in mind with the industrial scenario in smit at our electronics and communication engineering department in our 5g iot lab we have developed this system over under the center of excellence at electronics and communication engineering department the 5g iot is a live project which is going on under the center of excellence at our department where the 5g embb service 5g iot service 5g iov service and the 5g services over satellite backhaul we have developed in our lab so this is all about our research portfolio for 5g base stations physical layer activity now coming to the cloud control 5g activities my friend saurjit is here he will be demonstrating the server client configuration of the 5g iot services from cloud controlled to n node service any iot service will require a client and a cloud so this is our client it receives the data from all of the devices that are connected through iot so this is getting the data of the signal and this is relaying the data from the client to the cloud here is our cloud the first purpose of cloud is the test server it has to test the incoming signals and has to generate some output so it is getting the incoming signal here we have the incoming signal it is uh, performing some analytical operations on it it is actually calculating its frequency through the frequency spectrum here we have the frequency spectrum it is calculating the frequency and sending the same output to the client here you can see the frequency calculated from the cloud is 1033.59 hertz so it's get giving the output back to the client so here is the client and cloud mechanism that is essential part of the iot